Hi everyone, it's Christine here. Thank you for joining me. So I'm just going to do a few things in my Madame um, Junk Journal. So we're progressing really well. Um, I've done quite a few videos now, so um, they will be linked in the description box below. So um, there's just a few things I want to add. Um, and as I was going through this before filming, I'm going to swap a few things around. So I'll show you, I'll do that first. And then um, we can go on with a little project that I'm going to add right this. So um, this was a tag that I made where I crocheted the top. Um, I'm not a perfect crochet person. Um, just a very much a beginner. But it was fun to do. And it's shabby. <laughs> So I actually want to put that in here only because of the touches of blue that I've got here and the um, crochet will stick out the top and this bit of writing paper I want to swap it over and put that in there so I think that suits better with the snail and just the sage green that's coming out there so and on this section, I've made a little pocket out of um, a book page. Um, so I'm going to add that in there. Just going to ink before I glue it down. Um, I'll do a separate video of this little pocket. Just get this in now and I've got a few tag ideas that I want to do adding into it. So and it's not the biggest pocket but it will it will do. So I'm just gonna glue on that little bit there along the bottom might be able to hear Basil barking my dog the postman's going past so he's giving a few barks poor postman <laughs> So you may have seen in previous um, videos, um, these pages come out. So if you find it a bit hard to work on a page, um, you can take them out. So in one of my um, Your Creative Studio boxes, um, I've got a set of these papers and they were just gorgeous. Um, so I'm just going to add this in as it is. I'm just going to fold it and add that in there. And then I got some stickers, um, these little papers, sorry, not stickers, and these labels. And I just thought, they're pretty cute to, you know, like just put in like that, add a few things to it. And even these, these are great. Like, let me just get the old book page. need one that doesn't have a picture on it. I just want to show you this book. This is an old Reader's Digest book and I just love all these these pictures. So I'm, I'm working around them and um, 
so then I can use them later. So I'll just put this out the way. So I just thought I could um, make these into like little tags, but they've still got some writing spots. So. I just want the book page to be at the back like, as a border around it. And I need my Just want that there. Might add a bit more paper only to make it a little bit stronger. Yeah, needs a bit more. Love my new little um, punch. It's not round, it's like this oval shape and I think it's just so cute. And I just want a tiny little bit of little lace. Might just I do want to put what have I got here that I can put on the front? I think about that one. A good idea. Let's see what's in this one. It's actually quite. 
quite nice. I like that one. Don't want it like too much on it because um, it's a tag that goes into the pocket. So, so this is actually a sticker. This one. So it'll, it fits in with this colouring. So I'll use that. And um, you can definitely tell spring has arrived here in Western Australia. The flies are out and about. Put that there. And I just want to put this in here. Oh. actually want to staple that like that it's a cute little one now I want to put something on the back here I do have this as well so this is out of one of the your creative studio um, subscription boxes as well. And I've also got these. Not sure. That would make it a bit sort of sturdier. I'll put that right in the back that would make it quite a sturdy tag actually so let's go with that one and I don't think this is a sticker or I may be very very wrong and I am wrong it is a sticker well just add a little bit of glue just to give it an extra stickiness and I think I need something just down here I've got any I've got some little little something little like this even something like this Could even do a couple of um, things. Just do a little collage down the bottom here. It's got a tiny little, tiny little flower here as well. What do I want to do? that little little collage I actually love that so I'm just going to do that just something little on the bottom there Do 
this little one. down like that. It's good when you're using the wet glue you can move it around. And this tiny little flower, so delicate. I think I've just torn it off a little bit of um, floral paper and didn't realise I'd kept it. And there it's got a little bit of red on it so it goes with that so that's just a little tag made out of um, some of the elements from the your creative um, studio subscription boxes so um, I'm having a rest from them at the moment only because I've got so much in my stash that I need to start using um, up everything <laughs> so Oh, 1996, like that. Maybe have that down the bottom. I will do that. number is it? I actually think it's that way. Just the way the one is showing. Okay. So yeah, you can just keep adding. Um, oh, I'm going to leave it. Got to leave it, Christine. Okay, get some of these out of the way. Bring this back. So he can just go in there. So there's still writing space on this. So that can go there. Um, and some of these, I reckon I can just fold up. Always have to go fancy um, on your tags. You can just fold up little pieces of paper like that, and um, do that. Just want to do something here. sort of matches in with that and want to find something a little bit extra
definitely a way of collaging and bringing it all together. It's um, I'm actually I really enjoy doing it. good so I might add a bit of ink around those pieces and this bit of um, floral paper was just a scrap from somewhere again I've just I just tend to keep all sort of sorts of sizes of scraps because they're great for when you want to collage. So I'll put this on. I love that big number there. You don't mind I'm going over the the bottom there that's I don't mind that at all something little like that it probably looks totally different to what I just put on there I'm thinking I need something up here though because it's it needs something up there something a little bit different It's almost like plating up food, isn't it? Like you do a nice menu and think, now how do I plate it up? Um, so it just all sort of fits together. It goes like that. Now I can just see that sticker there. I'm actually just going to trim that off so that's nice in there inside so that's a nice little um, spread that I'm I've just done there. Um, and what else did I get? 
just trying to think of the botanical box that I've got. What papers I got in that. I think I'll just leave that like that. That's that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. So I created these beautiful dusty pink tags that I want to add in as well. Um, but I'm thinking I might end up putting them into this next signature. So I'm just going to leave those there because this has got three signatures in and I've, I'm still on the first. all coming together nicely right so I'm going to leave that like that and um, I'll make another video of the next little project that I'm going to do in here so I hope you enjoyed that Hope it inspired you and um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll link the video to these tags um, in the description box below so you can see those. I might actually put them under some heavy books to flatten them out. They're trying to curl up so I'll have to do that. So thank you so much for joining me in making this tag and this little pocket. I will do an extra video on some pockets that I've been experimenting with and um, and I'll add them into, into this Madame Junk Journal as well. So And I love making things with book page, so it just works out really nicely. So thank you so much for joining me and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Take care.